the girl. A nuisance. Get rid of her. Why? They're trying to placate you with a sacrifice. Oh, whoever gave them that bright idea? Never mind. Just get rid of her. No. Eat her. Oh, please. Yeah. Aren't we squeamish? You ate Sir Eglamour, hypocrite. I merely chewed in self-defense, but I never swore. The faith of dragons is a mysterious and little understood aspect of draconic culture. The stories of draconic deities have been told for aeons, but scholars are still struggling to corroborate these lengthy and complex fables. The two major draconic gods, Apsu and Dahak, have the most widespread worship by dragons on Golarion, but there is also the lesser known Tiamat, whom, while worshipped by no one, retains all the powers of a goddess. Apsu also known as the Waybringer, the Exiled Worm, and the Maker of All. He is the Draconic God of Good Dragons, Glory, Leadership, and Peace. His alignment is Lawful Good. His domains include Artifice, Good, Law, Scaly kind and travel, with subdomains including Archon, Construct, Dragon, Exploration, Judgment, Toil, and Trade. His favored weapon is a bite or a quarterstaff. His symbol is a flying silver dragon above a pool. He has no sacred animal. He considers all metallic colors as sacred. According to draconic lore, Absu and his mate, Tiamat, created the gods who created all the mortal world. Among these gods was the Hawk, the endless destruction. Absu entered the mortal plane to battle the Hawk, but was prevented from destroying his son through Tiamat's betrayal. This created a deep rift between metallic and chromatic dragons. Absu continues to battle against the forces of destruction, and he is patron of all good dragons. Absu is also numbered among the divine creatures which fought in the battle to defend all of creation against Rovagug. Unsurprisingly, Absu's worshippers are metallic dragons. Some dragons that are neither good nor evil, including primal dragons and wyverns, choose to worship Absu as well, particularly if they are lawful. Brass dragons, gregarious in the extreme, generally fill the role of Absu's servants and diplomats, although few of them could be considered particularly devout. Nevertheless, they always come when they are needed. Honorable humanoids with an interest in draconic lore may also take up the faith and typically wear a gold dragon's foot brooch near their heart or throat. Sometimes they also have other custom-made equipment in the shape of a dragon's foot. Absu is more widely worshipped by humanoids on the planet Traxus, where he is the patron deity of the Dragon Legion. Absu makes his home on the floating dimming plane known as Immortal Ambulatory. It wanders the great beyond at the deity's will, occasionally opening portals to the mortal plane. The ambulatory appears as a gigantic, translucent sphere filled with drifting stars and floating islands. The biggest of these islands is home to Apsu, who lives in an enormous, opalescent cathedral with his draconic consorts. Numerous other consorts exist throughout this realm, at least one for each of the types of metallic dragons, in addition to the islands set aside for the deity's petitioners. Absu possesses an item called the Mirrored Anvil in the Immortal Ambulatory, which is claimed to be capable of smashing an orb of dragon kind. The Hawk also known as the False Worm, Sorrow Maker, and the Endless Destruction. His portfolio includes destruction, dragons, evil, and treachery. His alignment is chaotic evil. His domains include chaos, destruction, evil, scaly kind, and trickery. 
with subdomains including Catastrophe, Deception, Demon, Dragon, Rage, and Thievery. His favored weapon is the bite or whip. His symbol is a falling, burning dragon scale. He has no sacred animals. His followers consider all chromatic colors as sacred. Dragons believe that the hawk was one of the original gods created by Absu and Tiamat at the beginning of creation. While other deities began to create, the hawk chose to destroy. He is credited with transforming hell into a place of agony and flame. He is also believed to be the creator of the metallic dragons which he formed solely to hunt as sport. Seeing the destruction and chaos wrought, Absu entered the material plane in order to end the hawk's reign of terror. However, Tiamat saw the hawk as a son and wanted him spared. In a deal to save the hawk, Tiamat healed some of the wounded metallic dragons. These dragons became the original chromatic dragons. Most dragons view the hawk with hate, but some evil dragons choose to serve him due to his immense power. Interestingly, despite his known destructive nature, the hawk is numbered among the divine creatures which defended all of creation against Rovagug. There are few dedicated cults to the hawk, particularly because his worshippers mostly consist of serpent folk and especially evil dragons, with human-like followers being a rarity. But the endless destruction has no love for his faithful. He offers power and immortality in exchange for service, but never forgiveness or mercy. Few worshippers have been known to wear their unholy symbols proudly, safe in the knowledge that few people would even recognize their religion. The greatest sacrifice his followers can hope to make is that of a metallic dragon, and these cults often dedicate themselves to this task above all else. Some legends tell that the hawk created weverns and drakes in a misguided attempt to forge a new race of dragons, but scholars agree that this notion largely contradicts his role as the eternal destroyer. Nevertheless, evil drakes and many weverns believe the legends and revere the hawk as their creator. Damn it. According to the myths of dragon kind, Tiamat, along with her mate Apsu, is one of the two original beings. In draconic myth, there were only two entities, the embodiment of law, incarnate as an ocean of fresh water, and the embodiment of chaos, incarnate as salt water. From their union came the first gods. The fresh water created heaven and hell and the two waters sent their children to inhabit them. The younger gods then created the material plane. The first of the water's offspring, the hawk, took the form of the first dragon and rampaged across the material plane, then withdrew from his family to hell. The salt water created six more gods, the beautiful metals. The hawk then appeared and shaped them into his own form, and cast them into the material plane where they shattered into the first metallic dragons, whom the hawk hunted for sport. The fresh water did not care for the hawk's destructive nature and chose to attempt to end his existence, taking the form of a radiant dragon and naming himself Apsu. He rallied the metallic dragons to fight against the hawk and defeated him, but in the battle many of the mortal dragons were grievously wounded. Anguished by the battle between her mate and her son, the salt water shed tears that landed on the graves of the ten draconic heroes. The dragon's souls entered the crystallized tears, which became the legendary orbs of dragon kind. De Hawk cried out to the salt water, and she healed his wounds so he could go free. She also healed many of the wounded dragons, and they were corrupted into the first chromatic dragons, who fought in defense of Dehawk. 
Another titanic battle followed in which Absu and the metallic dragons nearly destroyed the hawk and his corrupted followers, but the salt water also took the form of a monstrous dragon and again stood in protection of the hawk and the chromatics. Absu demanded the salt water answer for her actions. The salt water named herself Tiamat and denounced Absu for slaying their children, corrupted though they were. Tiamat savaged Absu and cast him out of the heavens. The struggle between Absu and the hawk with Tiamat intervening continues to this day. But Absu has chosen a world far from Tiamat's sight, Golarion, to make a stand and finally destroy his wayward son. Originally taking the shape of a vast, formless ocean of salt water, Tiamat now appears as a vicious dragon with many heads. Tiamat is not worshipped on Golorion. All dragons live in fear of her, and none willingly name her. Hello, everyone. Ah, this one was really cool, huh? I loved this one. I'm a big sucker for dragons, though. Of course, I hope you liked it, too. Up next, we're going to do the giant deities. Should be helpful for any of you out there playing the giant slayer adventure path that Paizo came out with recently. For now, though, you can like or share this video or subscribe to the channel. And I would say, if you have a specific question for me, be sure to tag me in your comment down below. As always, have a great day. God bless and enjoy. This content was made possible by travelers and viewers like you. Thank you.